gentlemen, welcome back to the most beautiful Minecraft survival island in the world! Wait, what is all of that sand on top of my house? In case you're new around here, this is Squid Island. It's my survival series together with Slogal and Craner. Yes, Craner. He's back! <laughs> and this is only the second time I logged in on my own, but probably the first time I've been trolled? What is all of that? Oh god, there's a bunch of signs here. Now before I read those signs, remember this series is fueled by your likes. I want to see at least 25,000 likes underneath of this episode. Subscribe, go to the Jelly Store for Black Friday merch. We got up to 50% off. <sighs> Hi, Jelly. Since you stole from Josh and I, in case you didn't watch the previous episode, Craner gave Josh and I a welcome gift. And I replaced Josh's welcome gift with something slightly worse because he owed me. And I didn't take anything from Craner. I then asked for help as well. Yeah, I asked for help to build my temple. I figured, you know what? I have an idea. Here's a bunch of sand to help you with your temple thing. It's all yours, buddy. Craner. But does Craner know that this is supposed to be a pyramid styled temple. It's not supposed to be, what is that? Uh, a sand block. What is all of this stuff? Are you kidding me? Hey, inside of my house too? Oh my goodness. I guess we're gonna have to start removing some of this sand. I, I think we're gonna go through a lot of shovels, aren't we? Bleep, blop, bloop, bleep, blop, bloop. Bleep, bloop. Okay, luckily my house is still kind of small. <laughs> so that didn't take too much time. Now what about, oh no, there is literally a cobblestone staircase here. Oh, by the way, hi Golem. Golem is our protector, even though he's fenced in. He protects our village, it's true. Why did I start a Minecraft survival series with these guys? I could have known this was gonna happen, but wait a minute. <laughs> hey, cheat code. Are you kidding me? This is way too easy. Hey! <laughs> oh my god, I'm really good at this. Oh, this is too easy. Craner, nice try, bro. But sand is, in fact, some of the best material in the world. You can't get me like this. This is a two minute fix. Look at that. It's almost done. Well, obviously, once we are done cleaning this mess up, we are gonna be focusing on our temple today because our temple needs to be completed. I also asked for gifts from Craner and Slogo. I'm gonna have a look if they actually sent me any gifts. Oh, also, I've got a secret chest in here. Please tell me they didn't find that. Oh, uh, this is just way too easy, man. Everything is breaking on its own. Nice try, though, Craner. Okay, it's, it, it's actually a little bit more work than I... Whatever, I'll get it done. Where did he get all of this sand from? I don't see, like, where he took the sand. That's suspicious. Does Craner have a secret house we don't know about? Think about it, think about it. Look at this, man. The torch trick. The torch trick. It's incredible. All right, we are almost done. Oh, God, that was that was a mess. There's literally sand everywhere. Okay, so I kind of want to do something a little bit paybacky towards Craner, but I've decided I'm not gonna do it. Even though I want to do it, I am not gonna do it, and I'll give you the reason why. I've been speaking to Slogo and Craner, and oh god, I need to empty my inventory. <laughs> Actually, that one's probably full. Let me, uh, just gonna make a new one for all the sand. I've been speaking to Slogo and Craner, and we have talked about recording together on this server. That means all of us logging on at the same time. Now, in case you forgot, last time I trolled Craner and Slogo, they found out because we were all on the server together. I can't have that happen again. So I need to be very tactical about when I'm gonna do my payback. What I'm trying to say is I can't be the last one th th that trolled somebody, okay? I can't be that guy. I wanna be the good guy in the server. Or at least look like one. <laughs> all right, there we go. All the sand is gone. And what about my secret chest? It's still here. Yes, all right, 28 iron ingots. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna remove this ugly staircase. Craner clearly doesn't know how to build stairs. We can see that. Maybe instead of doing a payback on Craner, we should do something nice so that when we're all together again on the server, it looks like I did something nice. That is a good idea if I ask myself. All right, let's make a couple of shovels then, shall we? We're gonna have to get to work. And in the meantime, we'll think of something nice. All right, I got four new shovels. Let me just quickly throw away some of this sand. You know what? We'll make a double chest. Boom. All right, brain, my own brain. What can we do to make myself look good, eh? Hmm. You see, on the science crater put down, he actually said that what he did, placing sand on my roof, was a kind gesture. So maybe he genuinely doesn't know that that's not what I wanted. Think about it. We could potentially do something similar. Place the sand on his roof and be like, Oh no, it was a tornado. It moved from my roof to your roof. 
No, that's not gonna work, is it? We could give him some wood. You know, wood is a cheap material. It would take me one minute to get some wood. I'd be like, this is for your house. Thanks for the sand. I feel like that's actually kind of a good one. I don't think he would hate me for that, right? Slogo might get a little jealous though, but hey, Slogo hasn't really done anything. I mean, where is Slogo even? You know, where has he been all this time? Maybe he's hiding in a secret cave tunnel that we don't know about. Okay. That one just broke. This uh, pyramid thing was a fun idea in my head, but oh my goody goodness, it is a lot of work, guys. It is a lot of work. Would you look at this progress, though? <laughs> it's looking really good. Oh, I think I need to chop down another layer. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna end up with a lot of sandstone as well. I think I could use some of that sandstone to kind of reinforce my temple. I think that's a cool idea. All right, well, let's keep going. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. All right, look at all of that. Oh, that's my second pickaxe already. Okay, look at this, guys. <gasps> the pyramid is looking great. Our beautiful temple. Now, uh, we're not done yet, but <laughs> you can see that it's looking really good. Now, I'm really starting to struggle with this area because I have to kind of cut everything down and make it leveled. You can hardly recognize this place. And yeah, this is taking me a lot of time to do, but it's fine. It's fine. I like to build in Minecraft. I missed it. I also want to replace most of this stone with sandstone. It just looks much nicer, but it's very time consuming. So uh, we'll, we'll get to do that eventually today that we will do it today. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little while. This is my third stone pickaxe. I know I have iron, but I want to save it. Maybe I make some armor with it later. Yo, we found coal. Oh, great. I don't know if I need any, but great. I wish I had TNT. I'm just saying, this would have been so much easier. All right, now it's time to uh, trim off the edges. I can't even speak anymore. I've just been mining and cutting this down. Can you make sandstone stairs? That would be epic if that's possible. I actually don't know. I gotta check it. All right, now, before we continue digging all of this stone out, I wanna tell you a little secret. And that secret is that my temple is going to have an underground base. That's right. I don't trust Slogor Craner a single bit. Now, 4,000 years ago, when the Egyptians built their pyramids, they did the exact same. They didn't trust their neighbors. And we've got a beautiful backside here with stone and sandstone. So I think it only makes sense to start digging from here. That's right. We are going to dig inside and create a tunnel. Now, I know, I know, I know. They might eventually find out about it, but I'm going to cover the tunnel up with tracks and traps. Why, why tracks? No, I mean, I just meant traps, not tracks. <laughs> now, I got to find a good way to how to hide the entrance. I think for now, even though a trapdoor system is cool, but for now, we're basically just going to hide it behind some blocks. I feel like that's the safest solution. And then once you're inside, we're going to create a maze. And only I will know the right directions. Think about it. They're never going to be able to find it. And if you're wondering what we're going to hide inside, well, we could hide chests full of armor, stolen goods, or... Oh, wait, what is all of this? Other kinds of things. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Whoa, no way. Okay, I need air. I need air. This is amazing. This leads to the outside. I got to go check that out. I just saw an opening on this side where the water is. Can you access underneath my temple through the water? Oh my god. No way. This is epic. This is actually epic though. This could be a part of our entrance, guys. Think about it. Oh, yes. That's amazing. All right, you know what? We're going to cover this up. We're going to cover this up. All right, let's grab some of that sandstone. Literally cover this up. That's what we got to do. They're not going to find out about this. They're not. This is too good. We could even block the entrance with a trap door. Um, no, that's the wrong way around. Let's have a look. What if we do it like right here? Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Can I still go through? Yes, you can. Wow. Oh my God. What an entrance to our secret underground base. Now, like I said, in here, we're just going to have to create a maze. I don't know which way, but you know, I, you just, just got to dig, right? We're going to create a huge tunnel system here. So in case they find this, it won't lead to anything. It's just tunnels. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. That's our pyramid collapsing. Did I really make it that far in? Oh. <laughs> I guess that's a yes. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to make sure that we don't do that. This is the absolute sickest way to hide something, though. I love it. All right, let's create another tunnel in this direction. Literally, if Slogan and Craner find this, they're gonna get so confused. And this literally all leads to nothing. There will only be one correct route. <laughs> 
How amazing would it be if we put like pressure plates here with dispenser shooting arrows eventually? That would be epic, man. Okay, that's another dead end. <laughs> this one literally leads to itself. Oh my God, I love it. This is crazy. I've created an entire maze in here. Okay, so what I want to do now is actually cover some areas up with just random doors. So let's grab some planks, grab our workbench and make some doors. Like these are going to be the most random doors that you'll ever see. They're going to be absolutely absolutely everywhere. Okay, for example, one coming up the stairs. Another one right here. <laughs> another one. No, that's that's a terrible spot. What about another one right in front? Oh my. Wait, can I do that? Does it not open the other way? Can we please get it to Can we get it to open the other way? No, it, it won't. Oh. No, nope, that's not what I meant. That's good though. That's good. That'll work. We'll place another door here. Literally, random doors absolutely everywhere. We'll even place some just flushed against the wall. <laughs> That's crazy. You will never know which way to go. I'm actually getting kind of lost myself here. This is amazing. Get it? Okay, so we're gonna have to continue with birch trees for the doors because I am pretty sure that oak doors actually have a little window in it. Can I confirm that? Yeah, they do. They have windows. We need more birch. We need more birch. They're not see-through. It's the best for doors. All right, here we go. We got some more birch over here. Oh, and there's some more here. Oh, great. There's birch everywhere. All right, let's throw that into our inventory. Oh, there's a lot of birch. Good. I was scared. We like ran out of it and that this whole plan was going to be a giant failure. All right, we got nine more doors. Let's create a little bit more. Twelve doors. That should be good. That should be good. Then create another pickaxe because ours is going to break. Bloop. All right, and we continue with the door maze. Okay, and another door there. Another door there. <laughs> another door there. Another door there. <laughs> oh my god. That one will keep closed. This is literally amazing. I, I am actually lost. I am lost. Okay, yeah, this is the exit, which we'll have to cover up. Now we just got to find like a really cool way to um oh wait uh okay i'm lost I, I i'm lost myself where am i we'll have to find a really cool way to create that secret place where we can put another chest and only we will know the right route just make sure you don't tell them all right if you tell slogan and craner this is not gonna work okay i think this is it this is a good spot for it now this one we are not gonna cover up with doors how about we cover this up with diorite all right you see if Slogo and Craner find this maze, they're gonna think that there's gonna be a secret behind the door. And they're gonna constantly keep opening doors until they find something. Well, guess what? They won't. Because what they're looking for is behind diorite. Now, that's pretty good, right? And if they break that, they got a couple more doors. It's gonna be here. The chest is gonna be here. This is a good spot. Okay, so we don't have anything to put inside of this chest right now. So instead, we'll just place a sign here saying, if you found this, it's empty. Ha 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 Then they did all of this for nothing. They went all the way down here for nothing. This is a giant maze. I love this. Under our temple. It's literally perfect. All right. Cover that up. And now we got to find out which way we came from. Um, I'm actually lost. Okay. Yeah. This is the water entrance. So this is going to be our official entrance. All right. And this part over here, we're obviously going to cover up. So we're going to grab our sandstone and we're simply going to place sandstone. Perfect. No one's ever gonna know. If I steal stuff, they'll never find it. They'll never find This is just amazing. What a good spot. All right, now let's replace some more of this stone. Bleep, bloop, bloop. And dig away some of this. Oh, wait. Did I just find... Oh, yeah, I found our... Uh, I found one of our tunnels here. We gotta, we gotta make sure we cover that up nicely. Look at it. <laughs> it is well hidden, though. It is well hidden. They're never gonna find this. This is just epic. All right, look at all of that. The temple is pretty much completely covered in sand and sandstone now. I don't think there's any part that's still covered with regular stone. This is amazing. <laughs> now, really, the last thing we got to do is just cut away some of this mountain. Uh, it still looks kind of bad, doesn't it? Why is this here? There we go. But once that mountain is shaped nicer, then this temple is complete. Now, like I said, I am not gonna troll Craner. Nope. We're just gonna remove some of these signs. Wait, by the way, I got to look in my under construction. Oh, yeah. Nobody gifted anything. I asked uh, Slogan Craner if they wanted to gift me something. They gift me sandstone. Great. I'm gonna say thanks, Craner, for the sand. Can I go inside of his house? What is this? The good old pooper? Ew. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll give him a chest with a little bit of wood. That is literally my thank you. I'll chop down a little bit of wood for the boy. All right? He needs it. That'll be enough. <laughs> there we go. We've got a chest. And we've got a chest full of wood. <laughs> 
thanks for the sand. Here's some wood as a thank you gift. Now, I really don't know where Josh has been. Like, has he done anything? We've got the farm here. There's no improvement there. We got the Slogo hut. Definitely no improvement here. Yeah, he's got his mine. I don't know. I don't think Slogo's been online, guys. Genuinely. The last thing I want to do is go to my own farm and have a look what's going on there. I've got 44 seeds in this chest. Oh, we got some sweet berry seeds as well. Maybe we put that down. Yeah, I hate this mountain over here. I really have to cut away that mountain. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Oh, would you look at this farm? Is the level the same? If I cut through this, yeah, that's gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be really nice. All right, let's remove some of this wheat. Perfect, full grown. How much bread are we gonna get from this? I, oh, I think it's 10. It is bad than nothing. I actually do need some right now, so I'm gonna eat a little bit. And we're gonna place those seeds back. Boom, boom, bam. All right. I know that this farm's kind of ugly, guys. I am aware. We're gonna fix it later in the future, all right? All right, we have a little bit more space over here. Let's fill all of that up. Perfect. And then all of this is gonna be covered in sweet berries, right? We'll grow those annoying bushes, but hey, that's food too. That could be a good trap event as well. Maybe we'll play some in our uh, in our new tunnel system. Nice. We got our farm. Now that we're here, let's dig our way back to our temple. I don't want to go over that stupid mountain again. Oh, yes. We've made it to the other side. You see, this is not far at all. It's perfect. And oh my god, it is on the exact same level. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, we're gonna have to really cut away this mountain. Then it's gonna look so good. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching this episode. Make sure you leave a like in the next one. Slow Goat Creator and I are playing together. And please don't tell them about our secrets. We got a lot of secrets now. It's hard to keep up, to be honest.